All right, guys, another great day. Look at this. Bit of a mishmashy video for you today, filmed over the last week or two. Bits of this, bits of that, bit of sewing, bit of pricking out, bit of potting on maybe, I can't remember all of it. A greenhouse tour, bit about spuds. Oh yeah, speaking of spuds, look at that. The valde is growing very well in this weather. That's in the um, Agrilam potato pot with a two bucket thingy, you know. We'll see what that gets on later. Um, yeah, so we'll just get on with it. There's a few stills at the end. Cut them by harvest. There's a, quite a few cauliflower. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with it. Eh? Alright guys, I don't even remember a while back I uh, sort of criticised the size of the seed potatoes that were in the same packet. These are Sarpo Mira, look. And these ones are like massive. Well, that's it in my hand, look. And these ones are tiny. So what I've done, both got the same compost, both got the same fertiliser, Mother Earth and a potato fertiliser, two in each bucket, and they're just lying on top of the compost at the moment. I'm going to push them down a little bit. They're labelled up accordingly. Um, Sarpo Mira small, yeah, you're upside down, but there you are. Sarpo Mira big, and uh, we'll see how we get on. See if it makes any difference whatsoever. I'm thinking it won't, but I could be wrong. You alright guys, just getting some of these um, RZ lettuce in. What we got? I've already done the um, Salanova Descartes. And the Oakleaf Coronoi. Coronoi RZ. These are great. Let me show you how they come. So they're in a bot in the uh, Just Seed pack. They come in a file, little bottle, and oh, where are we? Cool, I can't even see myself here. There we are. They're pelleted, so they're great. They really are good. I've had these for three years, I think. Two years? Two years, yeah. So I'm just using the uh, do -do -do. <laughs> name drop in a Charles Dowd in 60 cell. It's uh, ideal for this particular crop, if you know what I mean. Because these will be going out quite small. One, two, three. Right. And the last couple I've got to go are, as soon as I put this one away. Drop one somewhere. There. Uh, cost lettuce, Patrona. Can't see it upside down. <laughs> and another Sanova Vidotex. So, I'm just going to sow them, cover them over, give them a good watering in the greenhouse. Hopefully, uh, spring up in a week's time. Catch you later. Well, the second lot of corn has um, chitted. Number 126. These are now Mire White. One of the James Wong ones. It's a bit bright, you don't even see them, but they are chitting and not all, but uh, as soon as some start, they all will, so let's get them in. <coughs> Excuse me. I only want 16. So I'll put the ones that are rooted in first. Shoot it, rooted. It is the root that comes out first, so. Stick them in. Root down, I suppose. I know that one has to point to the ceiling. Yeah, that's annoying. That's it then. Right, that's it. Give them a sprinkling. And because these are big seeds, I'm using uh, just multi-purpose, not seed, not seed compost. Okay. I do like these uh, root trainers, but I tell you what, you have got to be careful. They do get a bit sharp when they break, so that's why I tend to use a you know tool to scrape them off here. Look there, look. 
get that in there. See, you, that would have cut your hand. And as you can see, I'm good at cutting myself lately. That's a shelf in the front room, believe it or not. Right, label and water. This is the uh, the larger container-wise uh, modular tray. Let's have a look, make sure I filled it properly. Yep. Nice big holes in the bottom. Can you see that here? Um, what are they? Two and a half inches? 60 mil? 60 mil? Yeah, it's 60 mil. So anyway, I'm sowing, um, I'm waffling, I'm sowing um, some big seeds, that's why I'm using a big tray. Courgette, zucchini, courgette, attained a polka. I like these last year, that's why I'm doing them again. And um, squash, marina di chiogia. Chiogia! As recommended by, I think it was Clarice, I think it was. Over in France. Just five of each. They normally uh, germinate well, these big seeds, but I'll probably put two in each, I suppose. Yeah, I'll just do one of each because there's plenty of time for a second sowing. And uh, as you probably realise, you don't get an awful lot of seeds to the packet. So which way round do I go that way? I like talking to myself. There's them. Alright, let's give them a there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give them a quick cover up. Whatever's in the tray. Okay. Give those a water in. Excuse me. Right, sunflower, brr, some light, no, sunflower, some bright, sunflower, teddy bears. Uh, DTB, they, what's that? DT Brown, cut flower mixed sunflowers, and nasturtium tom thumb. Lots of different ones here, look. That's why it's called a mix. <laughs> so, what to do with these, really? Like Ten. Try and pick different ones, I suppose. <coughs> right, little stripey one, little black one, big black one, another big black one, stripey one. I do like these Buster Seed modules, they're great. So easy. Oh, just got the uh, Grow Your Own magazine. Bit of a poor show with the seeds, only six packets this time. <coughs> Lavatera, April, May, uh, Hardy Annual, Cosmos. Probably a bit late for Cosmos, isn't it? Yeah, so February, March. Sweet Peas, Winston Churchill. Yeah, might just get away with sowing those. Radish albina, white radish, January, February, March. Spinach perpetual, May, June, that'd be alright. <coughs> Excuse me. And the lettuce valmain, cut and come again lettuce. Yeah, all summer long that. Tell you what, they're getting worse. Anyway, whatever. Right, a bit of pricking out, potting on, as they call it. No, pricking out. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a tickly throat today. Right, number 75, cabbage, snow, cauliflower, snowball. 75. I'm just going to stick it over that label there because that label's obviously stuck very well. Multi purpose compost again. Uh, Why is it Mother Earth? Yeah. Seems quite good actually, there's not many bits in it. This is a bit of a mix on here. It's got some seed in it, it's got some sorry seed compost, it's got some perlite in it, it's all bits and pieces of you. I got left over, you know. 
I'll turn, I'll turn. Right then, so there's the uh, cauliflower snowball. Yeah, I got got room for nine there, so nine will be all right. I suppose. Let's get those over there. Not bad roots, not bad. Right now. Try and get them nice and deep. I use my little tool. <laughs> One. As soon as they want nine, let's get the ones with the best leaves, really, isn't it? Good roots, very good roots. There we go. Tell you what, surprised how warm this compost is in the sun. <coughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a drink. My throat's tickly. <coughs> Stoford Press today. Well, that's better. <coughs> These are recommended by um, Chris. Um, exploring nature together. Thank you, Chris. Well, I'll say thank you after they've grown. <laughs> there you are then, that's all the uh, cauliflower snowball pricked out. Well, the nine I wanted. Get them watered and in the shade for a bit so they don't wilt. And I think these will be going in the cold frame. Alright, what's next? Alright, quick update on the parsnips. Absolutely shocking germination on the exhibition ones. Only two germinated out of um, about 50 odd. So what I did, I um, I started chitting some white gem and some sabre. Um, not a single white gem germinated in two weeks. So I, I gave up with them. Maybe that's why they're being given away by Grow Your Own magazine, I don't know. Um, but every single one of the sabres did, and what I've done, where I planted them, look, I put a little dollop of vermiculite just so I know where they are. And all the uh, all the spare seeds are just scattered around and rubbed in. I just saw one actually near the surface. There's one there, look. Oh, they're just lying around, so if they germinate, they do. Yeah, funny, because I normally do pretty well with parsnips. Just a quick update, guys, of what's growing. And we've got spring onions there. 45. Now, I've got my crib sheet with me. See that? With all the numbers on it. Two-sided. We're up to 142 different plantings at the moment. So, anyway, uh, sorry, 45. That's Cherville. Um, 34, I know that is parsley, that is the Italian giant one. Number 32. Um, Chinese cabbage, wok, bok, wong bok, wong bok. Right in the greenhouse then. Loads of tomatoes, they're doing pretty well. They're doing very well actually. Um, number 48, Amish paste. 49 at the back, Britain's breakfast. 50, crimson crush just there. And at the back, if I can just see the number 52, is uh, Tomato Roma VF. Chili Basket of Fire. A couple more tomatoes there, I can't see what they all are. That's the um, the Siam Queen Basil. And the other Basil, the um, Emerald Green. Number 55 Tomato. Number 55 Tomato I know is Tumbler. And 54 Sweet Million. 53 at the back there, 
tomato rose de burn. I think that's what Clarice sent me. Yeah, she does, yeah. Whew, and underneath, <laughs> as if we haven't got enough, um, chili beaver dam at the front there. Cucumber masterpiece at the back. Marigold, very yellow marigold, very nice French marigold. 64 and 65 are tomato orange queen and craigella. Totally different leaf on this one. Hmm, weird. Right, we got 55, that's more tumblers. 35 is borage. I've got quite a lot of borage. Yeah, looking forward to using that stuff. And those more borage just, just started to uh, poke up there, it just started to germinate. Underneath, we've got some mint cuttings. Um, corn Rising Sun and Corn Mira White. Oop. Butternut Squash Waltham in there. And some Nasturtiums. Day Glow Alaska and Peach. I've got Dwarf Beans in there. Uh, Cobra and Faraday. And the one next to it, we got um, climbing beans, um, courgette tromboncino. Yeah, two lots of yeah, two lots of tromboncinos. I'll show you the packets if I can find them. They're different seeds altogether. Okay, then here's the two packets of tromboncino, both by CK Horticultural Supplies. Both got exactly the same writing, apart from the year ending date, 2021, 2022. Exactly the same wording. And yet, look at this. Totally different seed shapes. Now I'd have thought that was more like a courgette than that. So what I've done, I've sown them with two different numbers. So uh, where are we? Thank God, get off. 128, 129, 128, 129. Just to see what the difference is. <laughs> Weird, isn't it? Never seen that before. Totally different. I mean, they're more like... No, not like sunflowers. I don't know what they look like. If you know, if you know, make a comment. Let me know. It's all together. That bunch there. Um, courgette, Atina polka and zucchini. And squash, Marina do Chiagio. All right, and a hey, golden fever few there. And I suspect that is another borage. Yep, another borage. Cucumber masterpiece and cucumber mini munch at the back there. That is my potato chip challenge and it's just decided to poke out of the soil. Well done. There's my cuttings I took for the single seed potato challenge. And see that one 64 um, orange queen and over there we have oh crikey loads in there chamomile dill um dum dum dum, dum 99 yet baby leaf lettuce and mixed lettuce and up at the top a couple of aubergines Um, celery for cutting in there. Celery tango next to it. Still no show on those. Parsley Italian giant again. And some uh, water, watermelon um, sugar baby. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name then. And gourds. Some gourds in there. 46 is the second sow end of Basil Emerald Towers. And the rest of that lot in there is cabbages and calabres. Mint at the back. Yeah, I don't want too much mint. It grows everywhere, doesn't it? And some more um, watermelon sugar babies there. Right, this lot here, 133 onwards. So um, all sunflowers, nasturtiums. And then we got radishes that I just sowed today. Coriander, fennel, oregano, oregano and some nigella. 
A um, couple of different types of beetroot there. Number 90 is not showing yet. What's that one? That's Swede Ruby. 91 Turnip Snowball. More beetroot in there. And some spinaches. Loads of different types of lettuce in there. These are all the RZ ones I planted, the other, sowed the other day. Basil Emerald Towers again, that's doing quite well. Looks like there's more beetroot at the back. I see the numbers. One by two. Yeah, two more beetroot and snow uh, turnips. Yeah, two lots of turnips. Right up to the top there then. Number 71 all on its own. Sweet pepper lunchbox mix. Mm. Let's see how he goes on. And on top of the Spider Farmer Light, which is just lukewarm, it's absolutely great. Um, more watermelons. I oh, didn't think that, see, I didn't think they'd grow, so I've sown three lots. There we are. Uh, melon Charentaise and 120 is Kohlrabi Quickstar. So, I mean, this. Let's have a. I mean, it's, it's only just over skin temperature on the outside, yeah, so it's, it's a good little um, soil warming mat, you know what I mean? A little bit of soil heat. So the actual light itself is doing these, they're doing very well under the light. I know we keep talking about the light, but yeah, there we are. So that's about it in here. I need a bigger greenhouse. <laughs> right, catch in a bit. Ah, just a couple of stills to finish off with. Here's Layla's wildflower mix up the allotment and her Cara Amsterdam's in the veggie pod. Need to thin those out soon. And just a few pictures of my harvests. <laughs> Collie and purple sprouting. Collie and Swede. Leek, rhubarb and purple sprouting. And yet more Collies. And as if that's not enough, there's more Collies to come. Nice shot of the pink supermoon uh, a couple of days back. That was shot on my mobile phone, believe it or not. 